Hello, YouTube. Dot. That's not. Don't look at that. Hello, YouTube. Dot. Cock. Um. I would like to make a video talking about Evergrace lore because I have seen many reviews and also many kinds of discussions about the game that don't go into the lore very deeply or just kind of miss the whole entire point of it. Especially even in Let's Plays where they play through the whole game but they still don't get some of the parts of it that I will honestly say are not very well put into the game. It's fucked up. No one gets to plot. And I understand that because From Software doesn't give a shit about clar clarity, plots, or whatever that is. But don't worry, I fucking bought the novel for like over a hundred dollars. And I have played this game maybe like one or two times. So I basically got like the lore and the plot of this. Alright. So, number one. Card Captor Sakura music is fucking good, but the anime and manga may have parts of it that would not be acceptable today. I would like to acknowledge that. Number two, the the manual. Always read the manual of the game, whatever from software game you're playing. Always, <sighs> sorry. Always read the manual. It helps a lot. So like, blah 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 plot, the Rubain Empire, the Fun Trail. You can all read this. But like a hundred years ago, the Rubain Empire was like, Fuck you, we're closed now. Not all for business. And then Fun Trail was made. And that was like, a hundred years afterwards, there was like four villages. And they made Fun Trail, the continent, and they combined together. But, the two villages in there, Sulta and Morea, are, they hate each other. So, some bitches from Morea, like, fought. And with Sulta, and that's explained a lot in like Forever Kingdom. You, you, you play that game, that stuff. More story, uh. Okay, no, that's not important. Okay, sure, you can start with the introduction of Darlene. Fuck! Okay, sorry, I fucked up that part, but I will go back to this. Let's, let's go back to, you can see that. Okay, so we're gonna talk about. Our two main characters, Darius and Charlene. And Darius' story kind of starts off when... Blah blah blah, Solta, kid from Solta, he has a crest on his right hand, I will explain the crest later. And sadly, his parents were murdered and that's horrible. But also, his childhood friend was also taken away and he thought to himself, I have no object permanence so I probably killed her too. So he grew up really upset and mad. And he has what it takes revenge on Morea. So he starts killing a fuck ton of people because he's in the army now, which is horrible. And he wants to burn out a forest, which is also horrible. And then stuff happens, he gets fucking Isekai to the Rubain Empire. And it's like, whoa, what's going on? And then go back, go back a little bit more, talk about Charlene's story, and she was living happily and uh some horrible things happen, like the murder parent stuff. And so she jumped in and tried to save Darius, but it didn't work, and she got Isekai to Rubin Empire as well. So that's that's what happened. Okay. Uh gameplay. Yada 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 yada. You can figure this out once you actually play the game on your own. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. That basically was actually a good explanation of everything. It's Chrysalis, Sienna, who are also like Secondary characters, um, can I say about them? That's not spoiler yet. Yeah. Sienna, the beginning of Charlie's route, she like tries to save her, and then she's like, Don't leave this room! It's dangerous out there! So obviously, Charlene's like, I'm gonna exit the door and like see what's going on out there. And then Sienna gets taken away, so Charlene's like, I gotta go and save her! Oh my god! And then there's Chrysalis over here who's like, Wake up, Darius, you're fucking on the dead ground, you're dying! It's like, I am not a bird, but you can call me a bird. No, no, don't call me a bird. No, no, no. She looks like a bird, but she's not a bird. And Darius is like, oh my god, you're a bird, but she's not. And Chris is like, I got turned into a bird by a demon. We don't know who the demon is, but if you kill the demon, you can go back to your real world, and that's good. So that's why they're going together. And then... 
funny little kid, the guy from Matrix, bad guy. This kid just has no emotions. I don't know what to say about him. More stuff. More stuff. You should definitely read this manual. Scanned online by my friend uh, that says some words I can't read, but it's Ben. He was very helpful. You should probably go online. This one, yeah, that will help you a lot. So basically after that, so here's the fucking plot of the entire story and all the, the character stuff. So it's baby Darius, that's Charlene who is dead because he again, it's like an older sister. <laughs> the crest has like three powers. There's like the don't look at this. This is like stupid shit that I thought of. That's not correct. The crest has three powers. There's a cycle, there's superhuman power, and there's a demonification form. Which in the novel is called Chrysalis Citation, but whatever, that's only the novel and it's only in Japanese, so demonization would be better. So, baby Darius uses the cycle powers and takes Charlene to the Rubin Empire, okay? He doesn't realize that, that's why he thinks to himself, oh my god, I just killed my big sister. But then he grows up and becomes big Darius, and then he's doing his fucking war crime shit. And then suddenly, Sienna from the Rubain Empire transports him into the Rubain Empire as well. Because she wants to save her son, the kid. So, to figure out how to like, make sure he has a happy life, that's why he brings Darius into here. But then they both also want to save Charlene. <sighs> but then, Morpheus kidnaps Sienna, the little kid, and also Charlene. And and there is... kills her! And then... And Charlie, you killed a child! Amazing! Boss, that is why you're the greatest! And Chrysalis is actually a form of Sienna who was turned into that because of the demonification that I was speaking about earlier. And so her only thing is actually to go to Sienna. That's her goal, but she lost all her memories. That's why Darius follows her around anyways. This, this, is, this is really difficult. I don't know how you fucking people on YouTube do it. But! I will mention one thing, you fucking people who do the Let's Plays, and you look at Charlene saying you've grown up, and you guys fucking say it's like a sexual shit, I will beat you fucking up! It's about to 